guys, my name is Bianca Bruce. I'm a strategic advisor and I want to chat with you about something that I get asked often. I mean, in business meetings, by friends, on social media, people ask me, what do you do and what does your company do? That's such an interesting question to me because I feel like I talk about what I do nonstop. What I do is I'm a strategic advisor to business owners, entrepreneurs, and leaders in business. And what that means is that I pay attention to their communication. I pay attention to their value proposition. I pay attention to their why. And then I really try to think about what it is that their audience wants. You see, all of us have an audience. And that's a weird way of thinking about business, but we've really had an audience from the dawn of time. What is an audience? An audience are the people who pay attention to you, who are curious about what it is you do. You may have an audience of two or three or four. You may have an audience of millions. It doesn't matter if you know what your value proposition is, if you know who your audience is and what exactly you do to serve them. It is important that you stick with that. It's important that you connect with them. So as a strategic advisor, I pay attention to your audience and I help you tune into what it is that they may want. In social media, it's really tempting to think about an audience as growing and bubbling over tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people who follow you. See, an audience isn't followers. An audience is the people who connect with you, uh, the people who engage with you, the people who are curious about what it is you do. So it is for you, the curious, the connected, those who are paying attention to what it is that I'm doing, that I want to clarify just exactly what it is that this company does. Bianca Bruce Company is my company, founded by me, and I'm really proud of that. I'm proud of owning my name, and I'm proud of the work that I have done to infuse into my vision, into my value proposition, and into my team. And over the years of doing strategic advisory work, coaching, and branding, we've grown and we've developed. We have become bigger and we have become better, and that is worth celebrating. So my company is comprised of a small but really mighty team. These are people that I have invested into, that have invested into me and into this company. We share the value proposition that this company holds, which is to educate, empower, and equip people. This is a value proposition that hasn't changed in the words, but has changed in the meaning. Do you know what I mean? Do you ever have that happen when you think of a word and it means something to you and as you grow and develop and evolve, the word and the meaning of the word for you changes? So I'm really proud of educating, empowering and equipping my team and allowing that to happen to me and doing the same for my client and my audience. Why? Because I don't think I would be here today if it wasn't for the ability to absorb new information, the permission and the privilege to learn, to be empowered by my experiences, even if my experiences felt counterproductive at times or very difficult at times. Still, what I learned from them felt or feels really empowering. And equipping is the tools and the skills that we adopt over time. So as a strategic advisor, that is exactly what I bring to my clients, an ability to educate, empower, and equip them to really pay attention to what it is that their goals are. But as we've grown as a company, we have also decided that we needed to do an even better job at meeting our clients where they're at. Throughout the year 2020, 2021, we have experienced a dramatic influx of marketing fulfillment services. What I'm talking about is that social media has become an even bigger place for people to communicate what it is that their value proposition is. And they do that through video, through digital uh, collateral, through reels, um, through graphics. And that information is like an avalanche. It grows and it comes out 
at a velocity and a speed that is unprecedented. So as a branding agency, we needed to be even more in tune with our clients and pay attention to what their needs are, which is why I founded a fulfillment division of Bianca Bruce Company. And I'll tell you more about that as we're going along and as you're listening to my social media platforms. One of the things that we have become known for is our branding. We have a really strategic approach to branding in that every single thing we do is actually informed by the strategy. It's informed by the relationship that you and I, my clients and I built to create an outcome that is in line with your vision, that is in line with your target audience and really communicates the things that you want to communicate to your target audience. So we create a strategic plan and then all of the branding is informed by that strategic plan. So over the last four to five years with my team as we've been doing this work and creating really robust brands, we've also learned that in tune and in line with the fast paced digital media platforms, whether that is social media or websites, what is even more important is to stay relevant and to be quick, to have an ability to communicate something very precise and very efficient. And that is where microsites come in. Now microsites are sites that can serve you as a client when you are trying to communicate something very quickly like an event or if you are just starting out in business or branching out in business, a microsite will allow you to communicate who you are or what you're doing very precisely and very effectively. When I first launched Bianca Bruce Company, it was really important to me to develop into an agency that is attainable to my clients and to my audience. I wanted to serve people who understood the importance of their strategic plan, understood the importance of their vision and their purpose, and really wanted to work with a team that was able to translate that vision and that purpose into something that is effective and beautiful. So aesthetically pleasing websites, aesthetically pleasing design is what we specialize in. It was also really important to be able to stay attainable. I did not ever want to become a brand that was out of reach for entrepreneurs and leaders. Because the reality is, whenever we are engaging in our value proposition and our purpose, we know that that is hard work and that it doesn't happen as quickly and as instantly as we may be led to believe. Branding is a soul searching process and it's an evolution. Where you start is not where you're going to end up, but you're going to stay connected to your value proposition and your purpose if you have a sound strategy and a brand that is flexible and able to grow with you. These are really fun concepts to work with. These are really exciting things to engage, but it's also really hard work for you, the client, which is why it's important to work with a team that understands the process, that is willing to engage you, and that is willing to give you something that you can feel proud of and that speaks to your target audience. So if you have questions about branding and marketing, the difference between a strategy, a brand, and a marketing piece, please don't hesitate to schedule your appointment with me. I wanna chat with you. I love nothing more than to talk to people about their vision, about their brand, and help them achieve what they are here to achieve. Your work is important. Your work adds to the tapestry of our professional experience overall. So I want to encourage you to have these conversations, and I want to invite you to have the conversation with me.